Hi, my name's Ashley, and I work for Hexagon's Manufacturing Intelligence Division. And I'm often asked, what does Hexagon do? Well, a lot. In many industries, such as automotive, healthcare, or energy. So in order to answer this question a little bit more satisfactorily, I've come here to the Paris Air Show to see how Hexagon shapes manufacturing and innovation in one of the most demanding industries in the world, aerospace. We can all imagine designing a new aircraft is complex, but that'd be like saying space is big. It doesn't really do it justice. There are a huge number of links in the chain, their codependencies, and the sheer number of people involved. So to help me understand more about these complexities, I've enlisted the help of Aziz Tahiri, Hexagon's VP of Aerospace, to take me through some of the challenges the industry is facing and the tools to overcome them. So Aziz, for some context, can you tell us how Hexagon's impacted the aerospace industry? Actually, aerospace is in our DNA. Um, initially, we actually fired up the Apollo mission. We landed the Curiosity rover on Mars. We actually did all the simulation for the landing of the rover and we're measuring parts every day. We are actually touching more than 90% of all the aircraft flying today. Wow. Okay, is that all types of aircraft? Like, is that everything? All types of them, and majoritarily, I would say, the commercial one, because it's the largest segment, I would say. But at least in terms of commercial aircraft, they've been building these things for a long time. So I'd have expected the manufacturing process to be a well-oiled machine. So why do they still need us? These legacy factories have to actually think about how do you ramp up the rates? How do you reduce the scrap rates? How do you potentially uh, make quality always better and cost smaller. So there is a, actually a, a huge need for automation within these factories, bringing some new skills on board also, because we have uh, lost a lot of the, the, the labor and the workforces. And so therefore we have to train a lot of people in these, uh, how to produce more uh, efficiently. If I kind of look at commercial aircraft, they've essentially looked the same for about 30 years. So. Are they going to look the same for the next 30? Oh, I hope not. Uh, as an aerospace engineer, I, I got into this industry because of the, the dream that it carries behind it. And uh, I hope that uh, the new generation of aircraft with this new, uh, I would say, objectives of being carbon neutral by 2050 will bring a lot of new technological challenges to a younger generation or to the existing ones, including me. Uh, to try and make uh, uh, an aircraft that is a little bit more, I would say, friendly to, the, uh, to our planet and very fun to design and manufacture for sure. Carbon neutral is something we'll come back to. In the meantime, you said we touch 90% of aircraft. I want to give you a little challenge and we're going to go for a walk around the exhibition and I'm going to point at stuff and you're going to tell me how we touch it and how we make it better. Let's do it. Aziz, what about this? This uh, landing gear. Uh, well, actually, we designed them. Structural simulation, dynamic simulation, thermal acoustic simulation, so what we call co simulation. Uh, then we help manufacture them. This is a forge and then machine component. Uh, so a lot of uh, programming need to happen in terms of machining towpaths and so on. So we generate the towpaths and then we measure them. We check the quality and make sure we scan them and check for dimensional inspection and even internal defect detection. Good answer. Let's keep going then. This, I don't even know what this is. That's a cool one. <laughs> How do we make it better? Engine components. Well, when I think about that, I think about all the blades, fan blades, compressor blade, turbine blades that we uh, both design and measure. Uh, but also I think about the new generation of propulsion. Electric engine, hydrogen engine, hydrogen electric engines. I mean, big challenges ahead. You know, very cool stuff. I think we have one more stop. Well, let's go. Let's go. Aha. Something a bit different. Uh, what about this? I knew you were going to pick this one. <laughs> well, 
fuselage, composite fuselage. Yeah. We help design and manufacture, doing manufacturing simulation. So we want to go to certification the fastest way possible, avoid physical prototyping and iteration, so simulating all the multi-physics to design those. Uh, going into manufacturing, automated tape layer or fiber processing of composites. We simulate those materials and so on. Ideally, I would say, uh, a more sustainable one, both for eVTOLs, but also the next generation of aircraft. Sustainable, Aziz. We did say we we're going to come back to that. I have a meeting with Marion Rousseau, our Director of Sustainability, to talk about sustainable aviation. So I'll go and do that. Thank you for taking part. I can't believe I didn't stump you. And uh, I'll probably see you later. See you later. Enjoy it. Marion. We've actually had the term sustainable aviation come up a couple of times. And I, as well as probably lots of other people, kind of think it's a bit of a contradiction. Now you, as our Director of Sustainability, what are your thoughts? When you hear about aviation and sustainability, the first thing that comes into most of our minds is greenwashing or an industry being not sustainable, right? as aerospace is responsible for around 2.5 to 3% of the total emission, if we do a reduction plan, if we do have an impact, the impact will be even bigger. I mean, we can either deny that this exists and just do nothing, or we can try to say, yes, it's maybe not the most sustainable industry, but at least if we do a reduction, if we start to decarbonize, then we'll have a big impact. See, that some sounds quite positive. So. As somebody where I would imagine sustainability is very close to your heart, what would you like to see change in the aerospace industry? The most important that we do at Hexagon and in general how I think about sustainability is really to think the full product life cycle. So not only what we manufacture, but also how we manufacture. So in that, the idea here is that when we think about the planes, we will try to find solution from the concept to the grave of the planes. That means really um, R&D, innovation, design, and then production processes, distribution, usage, maintenance, and of course, the end of the life. Okay, now that makes sense. There's hope. Yes, of course, we have a lot going on. Design for sustainability, design for circularity, new innovations like new fuels, new propulsion systems, new production processes like additive manufacturing, and all this will aim to less materials, less noises, lightweighting, less energy, and of course then less emissions. So I came here to find out more about Hexagon in the aerospace industry. And it looks like we have a bright future. I'm really looking forward to seeing it unfold.